Faye Godwin, who had no formal training in photography, started her journey by taking snapshots of her young children and later by taking photographs of writers for the covers of their books. But it was through her black and white images of the British countryside that she became best known. Landscape photography may seem like an easy way to make great photographs, but to capture images like Godwin did requires more than just a walk through the countryside and a few snapshots. Godwin dedicated a lot of time to reading books about the history, culture and geography of a certain area. She also studied the maps in a way to know as much as possible about our location. The field work would only happen after the study. Then there would be countless hours of driving and walking up and down hill looking for the best places. Faye was a keen walker and would often take her camera with her. She would wait sometimes for hours until the light, the clouds and the shadows adopted the exact shape that she wanted. She would visit her location multiple times until she got the image she desired. The image that she knew by instinct that it was there waiting to be photographed. Her resulting images were often compared with the work of Ansel Adams. Yet, Godwin resisted being seen as a landscape photographer, preferring to be considered a documentary photographer. Later in life, she used her landscape work to draw attention to environmental issues. She became more dedicated to documenting the abuses of the landscape. After a short illness, Godwin died in 2005 at the age of 74. In Faye's words, just the sheer discipline of looking at the landscape makes you begin to see things and see how the light affects the landscape.